So here we're looking at a common problem <clears throat> where we're given the value of f at 2 and the derivative of f at 2 and we're going to use that to estimate three different values. Now remember what a derivative tells us. It gives us the instantaneous rate of change at that point. So we know at 2 our function is increasing by four units of output per one unit of input. Now if we think about what that means, when we go to calculate f of 3, we know that at f of 2, we're at 3, plus we're going to be adding our derivative at 2 times our change in x, however far we're moving in the x direction. Now f of 2 we were given is 3, f prime of 2 we're given is 4 and because we're moving from 2 to 3 in the x direction we're moving one unit so we end up with 3 plus 4 or 7 as our estimate so we should probably have a squiggly equals because we're estimating let's, t let's do that analysis on f of 2.5 we know at f of 2 we have a value of 3 and then for each unit that we move in the positive x direction we're going up by 4 but to get from 2 to 2.5 we're only moving 0.5 in the x direction so that's going to be 3 plus 2 or 5 finally let's do f of 2.1 and then we'll go over this again f of 2.1 we know at f of 2 we're at 3 and then we're moving by 4 and from 2 to 2.1 we're moving 0 0.1 in the x, positive x direction and tabbing that up we get an estimate of 3.4 so hopefully you're, <coughs> you're able to see the pattern the key is figuring out how far you're moving in the x direction so you're taking your output value plus your rate of change times your slope. So we're basically doing a tangent line approximation without actually finding the tangent line.